Sounds Like and I Let Reporting for Kids First, and today I'm interviewing actress Romy Peniche, who plays Tia Carmen in the new comedy How the Gringo Stole Christmas. She's also co producing, and her previous credits include From Panda to Nada and Millennial Bugs. Hi, Romy! I'm so happy to be talking with you today. Congratulations on this film. ¿Cómo estás? How are you? Uh, I am very well. Uh, is, is this an interview in English or Spanish? We can do some Spanglish, but mostly English. Perfect. Let's do it. Like in the movies. <laughs> yeah. Where did the idea for this film come from? Well, uh, this is actually a script that was written by Ezequiel Martinez, which is a Chicano writer. And everything is based on his own family, like characters from his family. That's how we... And and then we met him a long time ago. So we had this script for about 10 years. Wow. And 10 years. Yeah. Yes. It takes a while to make a movie. Yeah. yeah. I love that in the film, there's lots of family. And actually, my mom uh, knows your the director, Angel Gracia, tu esposo, um, mm -hmm. from Venezuela. They worked on films. I feel like this is a very family-oriented film. And I also love your character. She's trying to preserve her youth, but she's also like the life of the party. Did yeah. you find um, inspiration in anyone that you know for your character? Yeah, actually me. <laughs> yes, so Carmen is very similar to me. We have a very, in fact, somebody asked me if the character was written for me because I am very similar to Carmen. Just the difference is that I don't really like to party as much. Uh, before, yeah, I would party all night. But um, but as we get older, it's like, uh maybe tomorrow but i am um, but but carmen is very similar to me she's very bubbly she's happy she's always optimistic she you know if something goes wrong she's like yeah we can do it better don't worry about it yeah yes i love that she's always recording everything and i just yeah. love the character she's super cute and I love how this movie shows a different point of view. It's very interesting. I feel like a lot of the times Latinos are kind of the ones not being accepted. But in this case, Latinos are not accepting of the gringo. Um, so what do you think makes the Sanchez family so special? I think that is something that we don't really see very often. But I have friends that, you know are Latinos and then you come with a, an American boyfriend or American girlfriend and it's like wait but you're not gonna marry her right so I feel like the difference here is that at the end of the day um, Benny had to adapt to what what Emily wanted right what his daughter wanted which is basically you have to accept the gringo or you will lose your daughter so I think what makes it different is uh, the integration that we have with the American culture and the Latin culture in a movie. Absolutely. And also the set is amazing. And obviously the cast members, there was Mariana Trevino and George Lopez, who's, they're both Mexican, even though George Lopez is from LA. And Emily Tosta, who I actually had the pleasure to interview for another film. So how is it being with all these amazing castmates and how was it on set? Oh my God. Uh, honestly, it has been one of the best experiences that I've had because somehow Latinos, I don't know if you we feel each other or what, but we have like the same chip inside. It's like, you know, we like certain things like, you know, candy with uh, chile or stuff like that, that you don't see in other cultures, especially Mariana, right? Um, and then they were all down to earth super humble very easy to work with and working with George Lopez is like you know he's a master of comedy so I learned a lot and he's very humble and he helps you on set he's not he doesn't have a big ego none of them have big egos none yeah, that's really important to be with such a loving and such like a like a cast that's a family in a way. Um, and what was the catering like on set? I want to know if there was tamales or was it? 
<laughs> I wish. Uh, you see, this movie was shot in Mississippi and uh, the establishing shots, we shot the establishing shots in LA, but everything else was in Mississippi. So the food was very Southern kind of, uh, cheesy like American <laughs> so it wasn't Mexican at all interesting mm -hmm. yeah I expected there to be like I don't know the candies with the chili and stuff well we had that because we actually because I am also producing on on this movie so we went to get candy for the set so we were eating candy you know Mexican candy on set <laughs> yeah but it, there is a lot, actually, there is a lot of uh, Mexican stores in, in uh, Mississippi. Really? Little stores. Yeah. I wouldn't think. But yeah. And do you think now there's going to be more opportunities for Latino in Hollywood? I think I've seen it. But I think from here, there's been like a a super like huge increase in opportunities for Latinos, no? In Hollywood. Totally. I feel like. Yeah, thanks to, you know, actresses like Sofia Vergara or uh, Eva Longoria or all these actresses, George Lopez also, you know, all these Latinos that have been pushing the opportunities for actors on camera um, had helped us to be in this position right now. I feel like 10 years ago, we weren't in the right place to do this movie, to make this movie. Now we are in the right place to make this movie and to make more. And I hope this serves for um, a jump start for more opportunities for Latinos and Latinas in this industry. Yes, I couldn't agree more. Y la última, how was it to act and produce at the same time? <laughs> it was very challenging. It was very challenging because this is my first time doing it together. I've done some producing uh, before without being an actress on set, or I've been acting without being a producer. I've done a little bit of everything, but in smaller productions. For this one, because it was such a big production, and then um, I had to do both things, it was kind of difficult to jump from the producer side when I was working as a producer and then, hey, you have a scene in a half an hour. So you gotta go to set, you gotta, you know, change and et cetera. And it's like, oh my God, my hair, you know, makeup, et cetera. So it was difficult to make the jump. But once I had my, you know, wardrobe on and makeup and everything and I step on set, it was, it was very easy to come, uh, to, to live in the, in the, in the Carmen, you know experience yeah totally I think the film turned out great I had such a fun time watching it. it's such a fun film and again I love that there's lots of family in it and huge congratulations oh thank you so much for inviting me it's been a pleasure meeting you and yes please go watch how the gringo stole Christmas this December 1st yes go watch it thank you so much how the Gringo Sold Christmas opens in theaters December 1st. If you enjoyed this interview as much as I did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Check out some of our other Kids First reviewers and reporters on this channel. And I'll see you in the next one.